So I just wanted to give you fair warning on this video. It has ended up being a little long and <laughs> frankly, it's a little boring, but since I did all the research on it and spent all the time doing the videos, I thought, you know what, I'm just gonna piece it together and publish it because it's there. So if you're like me, sometimes I just want something just to, you know, drone on in the background while I'm listing. So this might do that for you. And I'll try to get back to being a little more concise in my next video. And, but if, if you like this, great, it's, it's here. <laughs> Hi there, welcome into my channel. My name is Laurel with the Curated Caravan. And if it's your first time here, I am a full-time reseller for about 13 years now, about there. And I sell on all the platforms. Um, eBay's, e eBay. eBay is my primary spot where I probably get the most of my sales. And then Poshmark Mercari and a little bit of Depop, which I've sold two things total on Depop, so I would not say it's a great seller for me, but um, I am starting to put a few more things over there because I had a nice 50 or $60 sale the other day for a men's sweater. So I thought, well, with Poshmark, with all of that controversy with their sales, uh, the increase for buyers in uh, their pricing, people might be looking for somewhere else to shop. So I don't know. I'll put a few things over on Depop that I think are a little more, I guess, current kind of stuff, more maybe geared towards younger people. But what's, what I sold over there is kind of funny, which I'll put it up here, is a... A vintage men's sweater. It was a vintage Montgomery Ward sweater. And I think I sold that for 50... Oh, I didn't even write it down. 50 something. 50 or 60 something. So that's a great sale. I actually, today is Wednesday. And on Monday, I had 18 sales going out. So, uh, better, I think, I don't even know if I had 18 sales all of last week. So it was a really good Monday. And I'm starting, I've got my first box is completely listed. My second box is probably half listed. And I've already sold three things off the first box and one thing off the second box. So $112, I think, that I've sold on in that first box. So it's paid for, you know, three three of my boxes in just, in just those three things. So that's great. So these are worth it. So that's what we're gonna do today. We're gonna open up box number five. I think it's box five. Uh, if I'm wrong, I'll put it over here. Uh, we're going to box it up. I haven't, I haven't opened it. It's right here. This is the top of it and it is all taped up. Uh, I think all my other boxes have been from Costa Mesa. This one is from Los Angeles. So we'll see if there's a difference. C Costa Mesa, a little more, more, more beach and ew, we'll see what's in this one. I would think maybe a little better in this one because the the beach stuff usually isn't very pricey so maybe we'll have some nicer items i don't know my sound is working is it yeah it's filming see how many pounds this one 34 pounds 34 pounds of clothes this again if you're new this is uh, a box that I a mystery box that I bought from the crossroads outlet so they get all of their stuff from crossroads all around the country for some reason these seem like they all came from Southern California so far um, but I have bought them in the past like from Chicago and different spots um, so this one is the downtown LA crossroads that this came from and they, whenever they just get overwhelmed with the number of boxes that they get to the store, they will sell them off. So I bought each of these boxes for $34. This one is 34 pounds. And it's a complete mystery though, because they don't let you look inside of them. So this looks like it's women's, at least on the top. And it's not purses or uh, anything different. And I'm just going to be going through this and giving you kind of 
what I think things are worth and then I'll edit in and I'll look everything up and tell you what actual comps are. So this is just me giving you my best guess. Okay, so we have, this looks to me like the under, maybe we have a dress in here that this goes with because it looks just like an under slip for a dress. The brand is Morrison. Um, I always think it's not focusing when I'm filming and then I look at it and, it's, and it is totally focused, but anyway. Um, so it's a white, just a white slip. Morrison is not a brand that I know at all. This is Rayon uh, and it's from Australia. So it's a Australian brand. Usually Australian brands don't do that well for me, but never say never or whatever. Um, okay, so that's number one. So I, I will at the end also, I'll let you know what uh, it works out to be per item for my box. The last box was mm, about 50 cents, I think. Uh, the first box was $1.34, so that was the most expensive one. This is a nice little find. It's a little shorts romper, and the brand is Alice and Olivia. It's That's a high-end brand. Retail is very high on this brand. Uh, and is that shorts? Yes, it is shorts. It's shorts. It is a bright turquoise and red with a v-neck and what size and a size zero size zero that's the thing i've, I've found so far that most of these boxes have lots of smaller items this is the alice and olivia shorts romper so this one was good to do a google search uh, so that i could get the style number or the style name so it was it's called the cami deep v romper uh, in beach bliss aqua and i did the terra peak search on ebay and there was absolutely none listed and none sold which is seems a little fishy to me so i might run that again but uh over on poshmark there were three that are active priced between 112 and 225 dollars and 10 sold and the sold prices there was one that was forty dollars that was the low ball one all the rest were from 70 to 127 dollars so high hopes on this little romper i will probably start that i will probably list it at about 99 i'm thinking um and hope it sells for about 75 but i do want to do another search on ebay because that seems awfully fishy with so many being on poshmark that there would be none on ebay so i'm gonna check that out again which that's okay but i would wish oh we've got shoes too um oh that could be exciting because they usually have really good shoes oh ooh, i see some good stuff in this box Ooh, stay tuned all right we've got another dress okay all right this is good Hervé Leger, uh, designer piece, and they wanted $60 at Crossroads for this. It's a bandage dress, a red mini bandage dress. Uh, that's a nice, that's a great, that's great. So, so far, yay. I don't know if this is all dress. No, I think we have some purses in here too, so this one is just... A mix of all kinds of stuff. Ooh, it's so exciting. So this was the Hervé Leger, Hervé Leger, I'm not sure, uh, the red bandage dress. So comps are kind of all over the place for this one and not sure exactly which one. I think it's the the one with the open back, which looks like it was maybe on a TV show, the TV show Riverdale, which people have pictures. If it's the same one, which I'm not 100% because I need to take a picture of it on the mannequin. Um, but if so, those are being listed for the about $300. The, the Terra Peak information gave me an average of about 136 is the average, but the average 
of, of sold and there were 64 that were sold. There are 203 active, but those ran all, all kinds of different, they weren't all red ones, um, but the average price of the active ones is $400. So Poshmark, the ones that have sold, have sold from 40 to 200s. And like I said, I believe the one that this one is, is being listed for 350 to more. So, but looks like mostly around 300 to 350. So I will do some res more research on this one because when it's that high of a price, I do want to make sure that I have exactly, if there is like a style name to get that style name in there somewhere. But um, definitely a nice, nice little pickup in that box. But it doesn't look super full. So maybe some heavier items. This is kind of heavy. What is this? And other stories, which is this H&M higher? I always get this one confused. And other stories. It is a shirt dress with a big, I think I can, yeah, it's got a little mark on it, but I think that will wipe right off. Uh, it's like a shirt dress in a, kind of a pumpkin orange, belted, uh, v-neck, and other stories. Who makes that? I can't remember. Um, I'll let you know when I do the edit. No, maybe it's not H&M. That's, that's cause, huh? That's H&M. Maybe it's just his own brand that I'm just, just not thinking. Anyway, uh, it's a size two, but that's a cute, that's a cute dress. Uh, there it is again. Three quarter sleeves. Nice pickup. So this is the and other stories, orange belted dress. Uh, not so I didn't have a whole lot of luck on finding a um, a style name for it. I found one listing on Poshmark, a sold dress. Uh, it sold for $30. The retail price on it was $99. I also saw it on somebody's blog. Anyway, it's a higher end, higher end H&M dress. So I'll probably list it for $39. I'm thinking and expect about 30. Okay, we've got more floral here. It looks like another romper and it's a Madewell romper. Um, so, you know, not super exciting. Won't get me that much money, but um, not bad. A little shorts romper and a red, what do they call it? A ditzy, a ditzy floral. And there's a Madewell tag. I don't know if that's, I don't think it picked that up. Um, and let's see how old it is. Okay, from spring of 2020. Not super old. That is not horrendous. Uh, was the red floral shorts romper from Madewell. There's five that sold on eBay. Average price was $25. And there are 24 listed for average price of 45 and then over on Poshmark uh, quite a few listed but a whole lot have sold and those average prices range from the 20s to the 50s so I will probably list it this one here sold for $58 so I might list it 60 ish 60 65 somewhere around there and see what happens so, so far, just with those couple items, it's already better than the Costa Mesa boxes, I think. Uh, Lovers and Friends. Lovers and Friends used to be pretty good. Um, they wanted $32 for it. And it's a mini dress. I think this, I think this will still do okay. It's a pretty, you can see, it's pretty short. A uh, little floral. Uh, it's got like a, a corset kind of waist. It's really pretty and it's in really good condition. So not bad. I like this box. So this was the Lovers and Friends sundress. Uh, I did find a couple that were exactly like it, but 
without it being on the mannequin, harder to get an exact match for me. There's it's what there's not a style name for this one that I could find, so it was very hard to find exactly this dress and what it what it did sell for. So more of a generalization of lovers and friends sundresses. Uh, on Terra Peak, on eBay, there were 55 that had sold for an average of $35, but there's 473 that are active and the average price is $61. The solds on Poshmark were pretty high, at least 30 to 30 and above, I would say, uh, for lovers and friends sundresses. So I'll probably price it. $49.59, somewhere around there. Okay, I don't know what this is. Oh, Motel. This was in another one of my boxes. I think it's just a really cheap brand. But I'm okay with some of the cheap brands in the midst of not so cheap. So this is new with tags. Got the tag here. Motel is the brand. Uh, like I said, I think it's just like a boutique cheaper brand. It's a black dress, I guess. Uh, in a cheetah, cheetah print, black on black. And this looks pretty small. It's an extra small. Lots of the small sizes. So the Motel Rocks mini dress. This one I probably will wait to price until I have it on the mannequin because just doing just a flat photo of it, nothing is coming up in my searches. So ballpark, uh, what I found one listed on vestiaire uh it is listed for 30 dollars, and that one is exactly like mine the rest the ones that are on ebay ebay had quite a few listed and they range from five dollars to 85 dollars so huge range that you can go the average sold price was 21 dollars, and that ranged from 99 cents to $61. So again, a big range of prices. None of the ones that were on eBay that sold were exactly like mine. Nothing on Poshmark was exactly like mine. Average sold price on Poshmark was about $20. So uh, that's what I, I think I was expecting when I went and saw it the first time. I think I had a Motel Rocks piece in my last box too that I have not got to uh, sell yet either. So I'm thinking 25 that I will list at probably $24.99. Okay, this is very bright. I don't know what it is. It's Adidas, very bright, um, a mini dress. It is new with tags though, new with tags, off the shoulder. That is definitely different. And it says rich and easy. I don't know, I probably should know who that is, or is that a person, is that, I don't know. So I don't know what that means. But as I explain in everyone, I'm old, so I don't know, you know, all the current people, sorry. But very bright, this looks like almost like a San Francisco Giants colors. New tags though is awesome. Uh, retail for $50. So this is a the Adidas Rich Manizi. I'm not sure how that's pronounced, but I did look up what Rich Manizi was. I wasn't familiar with it. I, it is a South African fashion brand. So this is a their collab with Adidas. Uh, the leopard print mini dress. I uh, did a Terra Peak search and there were 23 that had sold and the average price was $34, 15 that are active. And those, act, the average price is $42. So I will probably list it at 39, I'm thinking, kind of do a mid there and expect to get 30-ish for that. Uh, on Poshmark, I did look it up. Uh, there were uh, 10 that are active many more than 10 that have sold. Uh, lots have sold over on Poshmark from $25 to 40 range. Uh, so I think I'm pretty good with um, pricing that at about, what did I say, 39? Sold is about 34. So yeah, about 39 is what I'll price that at. Okay, this is a pretty floral, pink floral little uh, 
top. I'm going to say top. Romantic off the shoulder. And what is the brand? No label. No label. So what do you do if something has no label? Well, you turn it inside out, see if it has any tag whatsoever. Time out, Kleenex break. It does not. Half the time though with these, uh, people just don't look very hard. But this one, I think it just has no label. So I'll do a Google lens search on it and see if I can come up with something similar. And of course, I probably won't be able to say it. it definitely is that brand. Darn, there is nothing. But it's got like silicone, 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 um, you know, at the bus line. And it's, it's very, it seems to be well made. But I will, I'll do a Google search for this. It seems like I should be able to find something. Yeah, so hmm, I will have to list it as unbranded. Uh, hmm, that's disappointing. But it is, it's pretty. They wanted twenty-two fifty for it. So this top is still a mystery for me. Um, what's coming up is Reformation or Love and Lemons, which makes sense to me because that is what it looks like to me. That's what it feels like to me. It feels very quality. Um, Boho Barbie is another one of the classifications for it, but I think I'm going to have to get it on a mannequin and get some more pictures to be able to find it for sure. Really bummed out that this doesn't have a tag on it. I still will probably price it pretty high. The Love and Lemons and the Reformation similar ones are all listed 150, 140, 80, 90. So um, with no branding, unless I can absolutely find that specific top, I'll probably list it about 50. I see some free people with tags. Free people, new with tags. Retail price was 128. And it is, is that a shorts romper or a skirt? It is a, a dress. So it's a little dress, floral mini short sleeves and new with tags. So that's good too. So this style name was the Free People Forget Me Not Floral Mini Dress. One thing we love about Free People is they've got the, num the style number on the tag. So it's easy to look up. It retails for 128. I believe that one does have the new tag on it. So that's a plus. Sold on Poshmark range from $15 to about $45. On eBay, the average sold price was about $20. And 14 of them have sold, 75 are active. Uh, average sale or average price people have them at is about $45 on eBay. And I will probably do about $39. Uh, gives me a little bit of room shoes okay this feels cheap uh what is it it is feels cheap feels very cheap what's the brand the brand is called oh i i found this in my last blog jaded london these actually are expensive um yeah so you can't always tell and yeah they're very interesting pieces it's got to cut out thankfully the last skirt that i had um I was able to find a stock photo because it, it needed a stock photo for sure. This is a size two. There's a brand Jaded London. Um, I'll put some comps. It's not crazy high, but it's not, it's not cheap low either. So it's a funky looking piece. So this is the swirl print uh, Jaded London bodycon cutout dress uh, Poshmark. Uh, eBay had no solds, one active at 65. On Poshmark, there's one active at 65 and two solds at uh, 30 and $45. So, uh, okay, I'm just gonna work my way and we'll get, huh, interesting.
interesting box, interesting box. Uh, okay, some DKNY jeans in a size 36 by 30. Uh, I don't know, they almost, are they a barrel? I'm not sure. I'll have to look, do some more research on these to see if they have like a style. They do have a style number, so I'll be looking that up. But otherwise, they are a straight leg, uh, oh, light wash jean. Um, yeah, so just a basic jean. I don't think I have any DKNY jeans to even know how well they do. Right, so one good thing when you can find a style number on anything is it's a great way to be able to do a search. So the DKNY jeans, the number was 84410002. I was able to put that into a Google search and come up with the, that they are the men's Soho relaxed fit jeans. So that narrows down my search. So I was able to put that into Terapeak on eBay and get a lot of information. So on eBay, 79 had sold in the past year. The average price was $20 and there are 154 listed right now with the average price of $20.68. So again, I'll probably put my list probably around 24. Um, I like to give myself some room for offers and sales and all that kind of stuff. So between 24 and 30 probably, so I can have some wiggle room there. We've got some more jeans. Mm, those don't look like they're anything great. But they do have a leather back tag. The brand is Amy, A-M-I, Alexander, something or other. Alexander Matusi, Matusi. I don't know that brand. Mm, they're from Portugal. 100% cotton. They've got a button fly and maybe a little bit cropped and a size 32. So that might be good. They're probably a mid, mid rise. Uh, AMI, this is men's. That's one thing. I don't think those are, those are not men's. Those are women's. A lot of the things they have mislabeled and so that's probably why they didn't sell. I would say those look like women's jeans to me, but sometimes it is hard to tell sometimes. So these are the, the Amy Alexander Matusi jeans. Bolo. Okay. These are very expensive jeans. That was a tag. I, I probably showed it to you before. Um, retail, I think is very high. There's not a whole lot of them for sale. Here's a pair though. For sale for two hundred and sixty-three dollars. They're men. These are men's jeans, button, button front, size thirty-two. And I don't know where I'm going to be pricing them at, though. I, I'm definitely not going to price them that high. Those were new tags. Um, but I might start them out, you know, high-ish, and then come down if need be. Um, but looking at the tag, I would have thought they were cheap jeans. I don't know why. But um, no, those are definitely a great find. Uh, looks like, okay, just a couple more clothes pieces and that looks like maybe some purses and some shoes. So I'm very excited. Another pair of jeans. These are just Levi 513s, men's size 38, um, in decent condition, uh, some wear, which a lot of people like to buy their jeans with some wear. So they're a light wash. These are different too. They feel a little light, lightweight, uh, maybe older. I don't know. They just feel, oh, and the whole tag is ripped out. I hate that because there's so much information on their, those tags. They're a size 38 something. And so I'll have to do some research on the 513s. So the Levi 513 is a slim straight jean and it looks like it retails for about $60. I'll probably list it for about $29, something like that, $29, $25, somewhere in there. Some more jeans. Ooh, and then it's quite a few shoes. 
these are Levi's also, size 31, 512s. They have the text, so that's good. I can look up all the information on these. Looks like a slim leg. And they're uh, black, black jeans, men's. Okay, that's fine. I already dimmed my mat. Okay, we've got a straw bag from Say, S A I E. Don't know. It's woven. I don't know anything about that brand and broken. Woven and broken. Uh, will I be able to fix this? Why? Why didn't they? Hmm. I might be able to stitch. I don't know what I'm going to do with this. It's going to depend on how much it's worth. Because if it's not worth much, I will toss it. If it is worth a lot, then I will try to fix it. Which... I'm kind of thinking toss, it doesn't feel anything great, um, but I don't know, don't know. So I did, I didn't really need to do a Google image search because the name itself should pull up some uh, listings on its own, which it did. So there were quite a few TikToks about this tote bag and Instagrams with this tote bag. So for some reason, it was popular this past summer. Um, so that was good to see. Then the next thing I did was I looked on, so I'll do like a general, just a, a general search on that, just see what's out there. And then I did an eBay Terra Peak search. I did the past year uh, to see what they had listed. The average sold price was $38.48 because there was two that sold, one sold for 22, one sold for 55, and there are none active right now. So that's a good, good sign. And then I went over to Poshmark and there were two listed, one for 35, one for 60, and four that had sold um, between 15 and $35. So this was the raffia bag, which had was a little bit broken. I'll probably stitch that up with some um, invisible thread and it should be good to go. And I, it, I'm, I'm thinking I could probably get $25 for it. Don't know. What next? Uh, some tennis shoes that are from Dolce Vita. Dolce Viva. Viva, is it Viva or Vita? I can't remember. Dolce Viva. Vita, it's Vita, V-I-T-A, Dolce Vita. Um, some high tops, high tops, that's the word, high top studded uh, sporty little tennis shoes with a side zip so you don't have to do the laces every time in a size eight in gray, okay? These are the Dolce Vita Natty Stud high top sneakers. It's a funny one because eBay only has had two sold for $20. But on Poshmark, they've had lots of them have sold between $30 and $60. So there are five listed right now in between $50 and $100. I will probably list them at $59 and be willing to go down on that price. And let's see, I don't see anything with a matching pair. So I'll grab this which is either leather or faux leather. No label. No label black mini dress with a cutout back. It feels like real leather to me. It is, it's real leather. <sighs> no label, really? No, no label. Um, I'll do Google search on it. Oh, it's really nice leather too. Really nice leather, but absolutely no label whatsoever. 
Another one that I am going to have to get some photos of it on the mannequin because I just can't find anything like this black, that black leather dress. It's got cap sleeves, it's got little fold over pockets, and it's got an open back or cut out back. I have not been able to find anything exactly like it and it is a really nice dress. And so I have seen some that are unbranded that'll still go for about $50, which is probably what I would expect with this dress. It does have some reinforced stitching right on the armpit um, and no, no tags. So, so I can't, you know, if, if it was branded, it would be worth a whole lot more, but still happy with this dress. It's really pretty. Uh, a pair of Nine West uh, pumps in a nude tan, but they're in really good shape. You can see the heels. There's no, no, oh, a little bit of chunk out of that one, but the, you know, the caps look great and they're in a size six. So a smaller, but overall in really good shape. On eBay and the average price of $27.08. Poshmark, there's a lot listed though too. Uh, Poshmark, uh, quite a few sold, everywhere from $15 to $45. I will probably list 39 and again, be willing to take offers. Not wanting to turn off again. And these look cheap, what are these? Oh no, they're nice. See, I sometimes I just do not know. They're Luffler, Loeffler Randall. Uh, I think I have a pair of boots in this brand and they're very expensive boots. They wanted $47.50 for these. There's the brand name. Um, so, and they're like those plum cum, which these, you know, these have been, uh, were popular a few years ago, probably more than now. They're seven and a half. They're in pretty good, pretty good condition. Yeah, overall, overall good condition. Um, so that's okay. So these are the Luffler Randall Saskia sandals. A lot of them out there. A lot of them have sold. On eBay the past year, four have sold with an average price of about $50. There are 13 active. Average price, $88. Poshmark, there are quite a few active, I didn't count them, but um, many, many have sold anywhere from $15 to $120. So I don't know how I'm gonna price those. Probably in the middle there somewhere, maybe 50 and see, see what happens. That's that. Some of these, Mew Mew. These are very expensive. Red pumps with a rounded toe, patent leather, size 38. Ah, uh, yeah, those are nice. Those are great. Uh, they're in really good condition, no, no scuffs. This one's a little bit wonky, a little bit, but, but really not. Red patent leather, uh, made in Italy. All good um, and not very much wear at all. So great. One more pair of shoes. I hope that there's more than one boot because right now there's just one boot. One white Calvin Klein boot. So it's either <laughs> at the bottom. So these are one of those where retail I, I saw some of the retails as being like 650, some being like $400. Uh, but anyway, very high retail on these Mew Mew red patent pumps. But when it comes to what they actually sell for, Poshmark, the same shoes exactly, have sold for 30 and $40. So that's kind of very disappointing. On eBay, just a general red patent pump uh, 16 have sold and the average price is 106. There's 54 active and their average price is 216. So I may start high-ish, but I don't know. At the max would be like 75, but probably more like 
59 or 60, probably something like that. I just have a feeling these are older. They do have some scuffing on them. So um, originally I thought they were gonna bring me big money, but now I'm, I'm thinking not so much. And the bottom of this box or they sent me one boot. All right, we have a Calvin Klein purse, a brown logo tote bag. It's in good condition. Uh, it's in fair condition. It's got some uh, um, peeling at the top, but I will probably take a pen or something and darken those white areas and disclose that. And this is the Calvin Klein. It's a pretty large logo tote. Um, on eBay, there's been 197 sold. I think, I think my listing was for the past year. Average price about 40. Same is kind of true on Poshmark. Average price of the solds were from 15 to 40. So I might price it about 29. See what happens. And we've got some more purses. This feels cheap. Feels like a cheap purse. It's Nanette Lapour bucket bag in orange. Uh, it doesn't feel like real leather. I'll have to look that up um, and see if it is leather, but it does not feel like it. Well, it doesn't feel like it to me. What does the tag say? Tag says... What does the tag say? Synthetic. Yep, synthetic. I thought so. See, you can usually tell. You can usually tell something's real leather or not. But um, somebody might be looking, you know, for an orange bag that only to be. So this is the Nanette Lapour orange sling bag. It's a convertible bag. And uh, none sold on eBay. A few listed. On eBay, there's two listed for $40. And quite a few have sold between $20 and $40. So I'm um, probably will also list it about $39 and um, come down from there. Filled out. Uh, this looks like just a canvas tote bag in orange. A bagu is the branding and just a orange canvas tote bag. Not very exciting. It is just a basic orange tote nothing special to it quite a few different tote bags have sold from them but um it's very very ordinary so i will probably list it in between 15 and 20 and probably just be happy to get ten dollars for it this looks like red leather or maybe not etra what is it etra it is genuine leather. Diane von Furstenberg. Hmm. Okay, so it says Diane von Furstenberg on the inside tag. Genuine pig skin. It is a brown. Maybe Etra is like a kind of maybe a diffusion line from her, but um, I didn't even know she made handbags. So it's a little brown clutch in pig skin. So that's nice, right? It's got a couple of little marks, but I'll try to get those off. Decent. So this bag is kind of a little bit of a mystery because although the inside branding on the actual purse says Etra, which is a, I think a vintage bag maker. It also has a, a little chain tag that says genuine pigskin and Diane von Furstenberg. And the leather does match, but I, I've looked it up and I can't find anything Diane von Furstenberg that looks like this. And I'm not sure that this is leather. I think this might be a vinyl. And maybe somebody just stuck that on there um, because it did match. I'm pretty sure this is not leather. 
So this I won't be pricing high at all, though it is vintage. So that may give it a little bit of, a uh, little bit of money for that. But um, they wanted twenty-two dollars for it. I might price it around twenty-four, maybe twenty-nine, because of it being vintage. Okay, I know my mom got some of these in her bag, and was super not excited about them. They're just the brand is Luca, and just a couple of summer round bags one yellow and one orange same brand um those are nice for summer so i'll, I'll have those for a while i'm sure so the luca straw bag i can only find one listed for 50 dollars on poshmark none sold none listed or sold over on ebay that was a, another fishy sounding one i know i've got a few of those in another box also so uh, may list it for about $39, $40, um, since there is one listed for $50 that hasn't sold. We've got a patchwork. This looks like a vintage bag, which I do well with vintage patchwork bags. The brand is Foley and Karina. Maybe, maybe that. Foley and, uh, it doesn't look vintage when you open it up. There's the interior. And don't know anything more. Is it leather or pleather? It's got some gold branding. I'm thinking it's leather, but I'll have to d dig in here and see if I can find a tag for it. Um, but there's the outside, like a patchwork brown, very hippie boho looking. So this is the Foley and Corinna patchwork saddlebag, and it retailed for $328, but solds, I can't, there are no solds on eBay, and the solds on Poshmark look like they're in the 40s to 60s. Uh, there are a few listed from $50 to $230. So I might list it about 99 and see what happens. It's like Rebecca Minkoff. Is it? Yes, it is. A little Rebecca Minkoff crossbody bag in oyster, maybe like an oyster, a little bit slightly pink tan. And it's in good condition. That's all right. So this is the Rebecca Minkoff uh, Mac crossbody handbag. It's got a chain link strap and uh, prices on Poshmark. Some have sold for $5. Who are, who's selling these things for $5? Is it live selling or something? I don't know. I hate those. Um, but uh, 5 to $60 for this one. It's, I'm ex not expecting a whole lot. Um, so I changed my my search on Terra Peak to 90 days so I can get sell through rate. So uh, 65 have sold, average price of $32. This is all different colors though. Um, there's over a thousand that are active in all different colors. So the sell through rate is only 6.89%. So again, uh, yeah, not expecting much from this one. Um, this looks cheap. Oh, Kipling. Kipling is a nice brand. It's got a, a little doodad here and it's a little crossbody, a little nylon piece. So I think this was the Kipling Karoon, C-A-R-O-U-N bag, but I could only find it in one color, which was a blue and it retailed for $68, but I can't find it anywhere sold or anywhere even active right now. So I will be conservative probably on my price on it. Probably 20 to $30. And this, okay, no idea. It is a silver, black, beaded bag. Do we have a brand? No label. No label bag. Maybe vintage. I'm thinking 
the zipper looks vintage and I'll have to do Google Lens on that, see if anything comes up that's like that. I don't know, it's like all beaded. Who knows? So this looks like to me, which I need to do a little bit more research into it, but it looks like it's an African or South African beaded, hand beaded hand, handbag. The going price on eBay, you know, there's all kinds of different varieties of them, but it looks like about $32 is about average. There were 13 that had been sold. Quite a few sold also on Poshmark. None of them exactly like mine, but I will probably list it at about $24.99, I'm thinking. And then we have some clothes again. So it needs to be uncensored. So hopefully we're not gonna come up with tag stuff that's still got tags on them, which has happened before. This, who is this? Men's jacket, gay, G, Z, U, Z, G, I don't, I don't know anything. It says, grimy? I don't know. Don't know. This looks like streetwear, something I can try to sell on Depop to me. It is a jacket. How much did they want for it? They wanted $32.50 for it, so probably a good brand that I don't know about with like a crane logo. I don't know. White and gray splattery jacket. Okay. Okay, so this, I, I found the code online, and so it is called the Grimy Collab with G Z U Z. Don't know either one. Uh, the only site that I could find on it, it on was a British site. Or actually, I don't know if it was British, but it was European. And uh, the retail price was 109 euros. Uh, there was one grimy jacket that sold on eBay for 161 dollars. So I'll probably price it around a hundred and then just see if I get any interest in it um, because I couldn't find anything similar listed on any of the sites. And then we've got Banana Republic factory chambray denim -y kind of blazer. Just a basic in a size eight. Banana Republic Blazer, it is a linen blend, 52% linen, um, and quite a few of them have sold on Poshmark and for really good prices, $25 to $80. Lots of them being, you know, over 50, so that, that is very good. Uh, there's only one listed too, and it's listed for $50. So I might do, you know, 45 or, or 49, somewhere around there. Uh, I didn't look to see what size it was. I'm not sure what size mine is, but there were none listed on eBay as being sold or as active, which sounds a little suspicious to me. So I don't know what I was doing wrong in my search there, but so probably, you know, $49 for that one. And I only got one boot because there's no more boots in here, but I've, I'm finding that sometimes the missing pieces to stuff or might be in the next box. So that could happen. This is Lauren Ralph Lauren blue ribbed sweater with some suede here on the shoulder. Uh, that's cute. People, people have a, Lauren Ralph Lauren definitely has a following and that's like a classic it's looking. Lauren Ralph Lauren rib sweater with a faux suede shoulder. I found one that had been sold on eBay and sold for $12. One listed on Poshmark for $39, but none sold. So I will probably price that at about $24 and be willing to take offers. Um, looking at this, I would say free people just to look at the fabric and the way it feels. What is it? No, it's Sundance. Sundance Medium. And it's a maxi dress. Ooh, that's pretty. Uh, maxi 
oh yeah this is a nice comfy dress in this really pretty green blue aqua color uh, that's nice that's really nice so the sundance dress is called rooney it is the rooney maxi tiered dress on poshmark six have sold between 25 and 60 dollars and there are none currently listed and on ebay two have sold between 40 and 55 none are listed so i will price that one probably 65 dollars um because there are none listed right now so uh someone might be looking for that specific dress and hasn't been able to find it notice my doggy scratch on my face that's what happens when you dog sit it <clears throat> I don't forget two two things left. So this is like a sweater dress from oh here's the free people piece. Free people sweater dress turtleneck cowl neck. Oh new tags I like that too. Uh, retailed for seventy eight dollars. Uh, lightweight white sweater dress. So the we the free beige tunic is called the espresso <laughs> ribbed knit top uh, there have been two that sold this past year on ebay with the 37 dollar average one sold for 19 one sold for 54 so kind of a wide range poshmark two sold on poshmark no i'm sorry two listed on poshmark we we'll part 28 and 19 for each of those. Uh, but the solds, lots of solds, and they range from $10 to $49. So I'll probably pr price in the 30s just to give a mid mid range on that one. A pair of boots from other uh, born. B O R N born black boots. And they feel like a bigger size. Um size nine and a half nine and a half black work boots so the born black kind of a moto kind of boot it's called cameron c-a-m-r-y-n i found that out by doing a google image search actually it probably says it on the inside but anyway i just did a search and so we find that there have been 20 that sold on ebay this last year for the median price of $65. They went from 17 to 150. And then on Poshmark, uh, sold from 45 to 125. So I'm thinking in between the 50 to 70 range is what I will probably list those as. So yeah, I like this box. This is a good box. I would say I would choose, if I had a choice, I would choose between getting the Los Angeles boxes rather than the Costa Mesa uh, because I think the quality in this box was way better than the other box. So, so yay, yay. I will definitely make, definitely make my $34 back from this. What's this? Oh, this was, oh yeah, this went under the Sundance dress and I never did find anything for the white the white slip so maybe that's in my next box too so i'm gonna hold that one out along with the white boots and hopefully we can find the mates for those two things in one of my other boxes we're on this i think what did i say this is five it's five or six of 16. so more to come and it's going good so far and please if you haven't already please like and subscribe i'm like 15 people from my goal just of getting the 500. So, so please, please subscribe. And follow, you can follow me on Instagram. And what else am I on? I'm on Instagram, I'm on TikTok and YouTube, but mostly, you know, I'll post one and then just repost the same things for each of the different platforms. Um, so whichever one you prefer to use, please join me and we'll see what I keep picking up. So until next time, have a great week and I'll see you. Bye-bye.